All right, hi everybody, Shane Armand Rowe here. So a new update to Steam broke something pretty bad. It's, it's sort of the core of all of my tutorials. And so I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So we're gonna just show you like we're gonna install the Ubisoft Connect uh, third-party digital locker. So typically speaking, you would go down and you'd hit browse um, and you would select the installer exe. Notice something funny here. This target has double quotes, but this one doesn't. Because there's no spaces in the path, this will actually run as is. But later on in the tutorials, you're gonna be asked to change the path to the actual Ubisoft um, Connect launcher itself. And that's when it's gonna put a space inside the path and it's gonna break everything. So let's look real quick on how that works. So I'm gonna run the installer once to create the Proton prefix here in Compat Data. And don't worry about the shaders. We're not worried about that yet. Uh, and then, so I'm just gonna go to the point to where it installs and I have uh, the login screen. We really don't need to go any further than that. Just wanna make sure that the app is installed. Okay. So now we're going to go into the Proton prefix and we're gonna find the actual EXE that runs the digital locker, which is Ubisoft Connect. I scroll through here, it doesn't always order it right. So there's Ubisoft Connect. We're gonna right click it and copy location. And this is what I show you on all of my tutorials, but unfortunately, in their infinite wisdom, they broke this. So now I say to go ahead and set the target to this EXE, paste it in here and hit open. Well, notice how, first off, there's now no quotes at the beginning or the end of the target. And the start end is completely wrong. You should be starting in the same folder that the EXE is in. So in order to fix this, and I'm hoping that this isn't gonna stay a problem forever, add double quotes to the front and back of that line, copy the whole line down and put it in starts in, and now remove the EXE, right? We only want the path, not the EXE. So the EXE is the target and the path is where the EXE is. And now you'll notice if we run it, everything works exactly as it should. Um, I may update all the tutorials. I don't know yet. I'm hoping this is a temporary thing. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I uh, hope this helps you out, and I apologize for any inconvenience. Thank you.